Solving simple inequations. In the examples of simple equations in the previous video, we knew the exact relationship of the unknown. Thus, we proceeded to determine the unknown exactly. Sometimes, what we have is a relationship that isn't exact. Instead of an equal sign, we have a less than sign, a greater than sign, a less than or equal to sign, or a greater than or equal to. The ideas of less than and greater than should be self-explanatory. What about less than or equal to? This simply means that we are not sure. The quantity could be less than or it could be equal to. The same applies to greater than or equal to. These inexact relationships are referred to as inequations. Examples are x minus 3 is less than 3x minus 7. 4 minus x is greater than or equal to 13 and x minus 5 is less than or equal to 7 minus 2x. Let me reinforce exactly what I mean. Given x is less than 8 or x is such that x is less than 8 written in set notation, more on this in a later video, we know that x could be 7, it could be 6, it could be 2, it could be 0, it could be negative 5. But x cannot be 8 because 8 is equal to 8, 8 is not less than 8. And of course, x is not equal to 9 and numbers higher. What about x is greater than or equal to 4? x such that x is greater than or equal to 4 in set notation. So here, x is either greater than or equal to. We don't know which one. Thus, all numbers greater than 4 plus 4, which is equal to 4, are possible answers. Most of the rules that apply to manipulating an equation apply with some notable exceptions. When dividing or multiplying by a negative number, the sign reverses. Example, 4 is less than 6. If we multiply both sides by negative 1, we get negative 4 is greater than negative 6. And, I am sure I didn't need to say this. When changing around the equation, that is, switching the sides of the equation, the sign also reverses. For example, 7 is less than or equal to 10, thus 10 is greater than or equal to 7. Example 1. Solve the inequality. x take away 3 is less than 3x minus 7. We are going to put the x's on one side and the numbers on the other side. In this case, we'll put the x's on the left hand side. Removing the 3x from the right hand side. Subtracting 3x from both sides. 3x subtract 3x is equal to 0 on the right hand side. x subtract 3x on the left hand side gives negative 2x. Now we want to take the negative 3 from the left hand side. So we're going to add 3 to both sides. Negative 3 add to positive 3 gives 0. And negative 7 add to 3 gives negative 4. We want x alone on the left hand side, so we're going to divide by negative 2 on both sides. Negative 2 and negative 2 cancel. And negative 2 is common to negative 2 and negative 4. Negative 2 into negative 2, 1. Negative 2 into negative 4, 2. So we remain with x is greater than 2. The second part of this question asks, if x is an integer, determine the smallest value of x that satisfies the inequality above. The integers that satisfy the above inequality are 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. So the smallest value of x that satisfies this inequality is 3. Example 2. Calculate the values of x for which x subtract 5 is less than or equal to 7 minus 2x. Again, we want to put the x's on one side and the numbers on the other side. Again, we'll put the x's on the left hand side because that's preferable. So we want to add 2x to both sides to remove the negative 2x from the right hand side. Negative 2x plus 2x is equal to 0. x plus 2x is equal to 3x on the left hand side. Now we're going to take the negative 5 from the left hand side. So we are going to add 5 to both sides. Negative 5 plus 5 is equal to 0. 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. We want x alone on the left hand side. So we're going to divide both sides by 3. The trees cancel. 
3 into 3, 1, 3 into 12, 4. X is less than or equal to 4. Third example, solve for X, 12 is less than or equal to 3X plus 5. Again, we want X's on one side and numbers on the other side. Since we already have a number on the left hand side, we're going to take the 5 from the right hand side and carry it to the left hand side so we have all the numbers on one side and the letters on the other side. So we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. Positive 5 subtract 5 gives 0. 12 subtract 5 is equal to 7. We want x alone on the right hand side so we divide both sides by 3. The trees cancel so we have 7 over 3 is less than or equal to x. We're going to switch sides. The sign is reversed. So we get x is greater than or equal to 7 over 3. The second part of this question, if x is a member of the set of whole numbers, state the smallest value of x which satisfy the inequality above. x is greater than or equal to 7 over 3, which is the same as x is greater than or equal to 2 and 1 third. Thus, the set of whole numbers that satisfy the above inequality are 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Thus, the smallest value that satisfies the inequality is 3. And a fourth and final example. Solve the inequality negative 2 thirds x is greater than or equal to 4. We have negative 2 thirds being multiplied by x, so we're going to divide by negative 2 thirds to remain with x only. When we divide by a negative number, the sign is reversed. So we get negative 2 thirds x divided by negative 2 thirds. It's less than or equal to 4 divided by negative 2 thirds. Negative 2 thirds would cancel. And we know that 4 divided by negative 2 thirds is the same as 4 multiplied by negative 3 over 2. And 2 could go into 2 one time and 2 could go into 4 two times. And 2 multiplied by negative 3 is equal to negative 6. X is less than or equal to negative 6. That is it for this video. I am Mr. Dubey. If you found this video helpful, if you appreciate what I'm trying to do on this channel, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.